morning. You slept so soundly. I hardly got any sleep at all. Surely you're not going to blame me for that. Well, you were awfully distant with me my mother's all evening. And then, Tony, you, you wouldn't even talk to me about... About what, Sierra? The fact that you spoke another man's name when we were making love? Why would I want to talk about that? I'm doing my best to try and forget it. Okay, that is fine. Yeah, come on, right on into it and take it into the dining room, but they're please here, don't drop here, it, are here. you? Hey, oh. partner, how are you? Oh, hi. This I, is it. We opened it. I cannot tonight. believe it. I can't believe that we really are going to open it. We're going to open it. If I have to wait tables myself, you know. Oh, where'd you get all that confidence? Well, right I had now. a great discussion with a very savvy lady last night. It gave me a new perspective on life. I'm looking ahead and never looking back again. Sounds great. I'd love to meet the savvy lady. You already know her name's Iva Snyder. As a matter of fact, I've invited her family here. I'm going to book them out at a really nice table, and I'm picking up the tab myself. Well, okay? aren't you the sweet, generous one? Listen, Craig, I'm so excited. That rotten Lucinda and all of that terrible publicity oh. she's given us. And look at this. Look, look. We are totally sold out. Indeed, look, indeed, look, indeed. Look, look, Is the uh, Hughes family still coming? I don't see them. Oh, the Hughes. Uh, well, in, uh, yeah, well, th good point. I better call them right now okay. and just check Great. with Bob and Shoot. see if they are. Sure, darling. Oh, no. Busy, busy, busy. Okay, honey, I'll see you shortly. Bye-bye. How's Mom? Well, she had a good night's sleep and she feels fine. Oh, good. Right. Is she still coming home today? Just as soon as I go to the hospital and pick her up. Yay! Right. Yay! I'll go right upstairs and get your room ready. I'm sure she'll want to go right to bed. Not on your life. She insists that she's going to the opening of Mona Lisa's tonight, and her doctor says it's okay. I can't believe it of all places for her to want to go. Well, I know how she feels. Daddy Kim's coming home and the baby's going to be just fine. There's nothing but good things ahead for us. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> all I know is, Popson was behind closed doors with the commissioner all night. Now, what that means is anybody's guess. Hopefully it means the commissioner talked him out of bringing the case before the grand jury. What is this thing still doing here? I thought he wanted it back in his office. Well, I saw him when he was coming out of the commissioner's office. He said there was no rush. That's a good sign. Gentlemen, thought you'd like to know that I've called off the press conference I had scheduled for this afternoon. Does uh, that mean that you won't be bringing the case before the grand jury, sir? Not at all. It means that my late night meeting with the commissioner delayed my getting my statement ready for the press. Since the Hughes case is going to stir quite a controversy in the community, I want to think it out very carefully. I intend to be well prepared before I charge Kim Hughes with second-degree murder. As the world turns, this portion brought to you today by Dawn, the dishwashing liquid that takes grease out of your way, and by... Today's all-temperature cheer. Three temperatures, one great clean. Something matter, Hal? Hmm? Oh, uh, it's, uh, it's your decision, sir, but I, I can't help feeling that... Uh... What? That the grand jury is going to throw your case out before you even had a chance to present it. Oh, I doubt that. But I am counting on you to help me convince them. Sir? Well, after all, you were at the scene of the murder shortly after it happened. Your testimony will be very important to me. Yeah, but what about Roy Franklin? He was there, too. Well, I don't think I would call on Franklin to testify. He would, could be a biased witness. After all, we know that a police officer who allows his personal feelings to get in the way of his work is blocking the course of justice. Well, I'll be getting back to my office. Well, Lieutenant. Yeah? Would you see to it that the model gets back to my office before tomorrow morning? I'm calling the new press conference for 10 a.m. You, uh get the feeling that that uh, remark was meant especially for me about policemen not getting personally involved? 
Well, I can't say that he's totally wrong, Hal. I mean, you know, you are fond of the users, and so am I. And... Yeah, come in. Good morning, Hughes. Good morning, sir. I was told to wait outside until the DA left. Hi, Hal. Hi. Does that mean rumor has it that the press conference was, was canceled? Does that mean that he's closing the case? I'll yeah. see you guys later. Bye-bye. Have Bye, a good Andy. day. Hey, just wanted to say how you were doing after your ordeal with Marsha Talbot and our illustrious D.A. Well, believe it or not, I slept better than I have since we got back from Colorado. Not one bad dream. Great. Hey, Grandma, you should have seen Tom with that creepy D.A. Uh, I don't want to meet that creepy D.A. in court again. He's known to handle a very big grudge. Well, you can handle him. <laughs> <laughs> Is Dad around? No, dear, he isn't. He went down to the hospital to pick up Kim. You're kidding. Would you like some coffee? Uh, no, no, thanks. Uh, I didn't think they'd be letting her out this soon. Not only that, she's insisting on going to the opening of the Mona Lisa tonight. You're kidding. No, I'm not. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, Lisa, we were just talking about you, in a way. No, Bob isn't here, but Tommy is. It's for you, dear. Mm -hmm. Your mother. My mother. Thank you. Hi, Mom. To hear Tom, me. Tom, uh, darling, <laughs> how are you? I'm okay, Mom. Did you happen to uh, see Margot at all? Well, actually, I did happen to see her briefly last night. I... I wanted to tell her something that I thought would defuse the situation. It ended up making things worse. And I ended the evening with my fist in John's eye. What? <laughs> oh, that's a hoot. I wish I had seen that. Good for you. Oh, that's terrific. Oh, Lord. Speaking of the devil, <laughs> you know what? He's got a table booked here tonight. Oh, lucky you. Yeah. I, um... Uh... I'm sure that Bob is going to talk Kim out of uh, coming tonight. But, darling, you do know I am counting on your being here. Well, I'm planning to be, Mom, but uh, so are Dad and Kim and Grandma and Franny and Andy, so we're going to need a table for six. Well, that's wonderful. I am so glad. Oh, I'm here? so happy to see you. Oh, that'll be just terrific. Hi, Steve. Uh, Hi. Hi. What did I do with that, Lucy? Oh, uh, Betsy told me to tell you that uh, she's going to be late. I don't know how to dial up on No problem. Um, so, how are we doing? I want to apologize to you for opening my big mouth about those jobs that you lost. Oh, forget it. It was dumb of me not to tell her, and uh, we got it all straightened out. Okay, so no hard feelings? No. Great. <laughs> Is I was still out here? No, she's not. But listen, your crew has been terrific, man. Thanks. They're great. Good. Okay, bye-bye. You got a uh, second? I want to talk to you about some cables over yeah, here. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Hi. Hi. There you are. Hi. Hi. Sorry I'm late. You're I'm worried. Yeah, I had to drop Holden off at the stables. Oh, oh, don't sweat it. Uh, look, since you're here, I'm going to go out to the condo in about half an hour. Oh, okay? oh, I, I picked up the right. checks for the crew. Oh, yeah. you know, I must tell myself ten times a day, what would I ever do without Iva? Really? Uh, well, these are going to clear, aren't they? Yeah, um... Something wrong? There's something that I wanted to tell you. I didn't want to tell you first thing in the morning, but... But what? As soon as you find my replacement, I'm leaving. <laughs> 